Hi, my name is Charlie and I am a community engagement interpreter at Candlestick Point State Recreation Area, the first urban state park in California and located in the beautiful South San Francisco on the San Francisco Bay. So climate change affects everyone everywhere, but especially here in San Francisco, there are some specific challenges that we are dealing with right now that are only gonna get worse in the face of climate change. One of the best things about our parks is that we are on the edge of the San Francisco Bay. But what that means is that with sea level rise, parts of our park are going to be affected. In fact, it's estimated that by 2100, over 3% of San Francisco is slated to be underwater. And so here at Candlestick Point State Recreation Area, we're doing the best that we can to look at extreme high tide events like king tides to get an insight into what our park might look like into the future and to think if there are environmental or engineering decisions that we can make that could protect our park into the future. So how people can help on Earth Day. One of my favorite things to say is that Earth Day should be every day, but Earth Day and Earth Month is a great time of year to be dedicated to one or two things that you can change about your lifestyle. So what I recommend everyone do is think of one change that you can make in your life that might make your life more sustainable. Whether that is maybe taking a few less shopping trips and getting that great new, those great new clothes that you might only use once or twice. Maybe that's talking to your friends about going together to get um, a CSA box to support community supported agriculture. Um, or one of my favorite things to do is to get involved in some local organizations that are doing amazing environmental work. Earth Day and Earth Month is a great time to get involved with local organizations. California State Parks are doing tons of events, so as it gets closer to Earth Day, you can talk to your local parks, talk to other organizations, and see what they're doing and get involved. That way, environmental change doesn't just have to be on you. You can find a community of like-minded people and you can all work together to figure out how you can make some small changes to your life and how you can be together to make larger changes that'll help affect your community in a positive way.